What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys five very trendy and fairly easy hairstyles that you can try for people with short hair. A lot of people feel like when you have short hair it's less fun, there's not as much things that you can do with it, but I'm here to prove you wrong. I am here to show you guys that there are some really awesome fun things that you guys can do with short hair. If you guys happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. My name is Hannah Joy and I do all videos that are beauty, fashion, and lifestyle related. Really quick before we get into today's video, I will leave my Instagram handle linked somewhere on the screen. Go ahead and check it out. I post a lot of things on there. I had so much fun filming this for you guys, so I hope you enjoy. And without further ado, let's get right into today's video. All right, so we're gonna start off with our freshly washed hair, no product in it whatsoever. And I'm gonna first use this hairspray by Martino. So I really like this hairspray when doing different hairstyles like this because it has more of a relaxed hold. And then I'm gonna go in with this teasing comb that I got off Amazon. This teasing comb is so awesome, you guys. It gives really precise parting and it just makes it so much easier when doing looks like this. Once you have that hair secured, we're gonna go in with some clear elastics. Now, these are really great for holding the hair in place but they don't give that really bulky look that a regular hair tie would give once you have your hair secured back you can then pull forward some of that hair to create a little bit more body or you can just keep it slicked back it's really whatever you prefer and honestly you could just leave your hair like this i think that's a really cute look but we're gonna take it one step further and create a little bun now the way i'm gonna do that is just by taking the pony and it kind of twisting it into like a little knot i'm gonna then use a second clear elastic and just really see secure that hair in place. Once that hair is secure in place, I'm then gonna go in with some bobby pins. Now, these bobby pins are essential for this look, you guys. They really help you create the bun that you want. You can make it a little bit more messy or you can just add more bobby pins and make it more neat. It's totally your personal preference. Once you have your bun looking exactly how you want it to look, I went ahead and took my little baby hairs and put them in front of my ears. I just feel like that frames my face and it looks really cute. Next, we are just going to straighten our hair. Now, I want a really sleek, straight hair look when I'm doing this. So just be careful not to do any little flick of the wrist because you don't want to make it flip at all. You want to get it as straight as you possibly can. Now that my hair is completely straight, I just went ahead, straightened my baby hairs really fast, and then took some more hairspray and sprayed away any flyaways that I might have. And then voila, we have completed hairstyle number one. Moving on to hairstyle number two. So we're gonna take that same teasing comb and put it right in the middle of our forehead and go all the way down, creating an even part down the crease. We're then gonna take this one section and just clip it off to the side, only working one section at a time. But the first thing you wanna do is take your comb and go right about where the ear meets the head and then create a part going all the way up to about the middle of the head. Once you have that section of hair in your hand, then we're just going to go in with those clear elastics again and secure that section of hair. Once you have that section of hair secure, then we're going in with the comb once again and going probably about middle of the ear and creating another part and then securing that as well. And 
And I think the rest of this is pretty explanatory for you guys. You just keep doing that over and over again until you have no more hair to collect. Now, once you get to this last section of hair, you're not gonna bring it all the way through. You're gonna stop about halfway and create kind of like a bun look. Don't worry if there's any hair sticking out because we're gonna go in later on and fix that. For the next side, I'm gonna speed through most of this, but I do wanna mention one important thing. So when you do your first part, make sure that it matches up with your second part because if it's off, it's gonna be off all the way down and it's just not gonna look as good. Now that we're done doing the same thing on this side as we did the last side, we're then gonna take those hairs that are sticking out of the little bun and wrap it around that clear elastic. Just go ahead and take some bobby pins and secure it in place underneath and you won't even be able to see them. Any little flyaways that you can't get with your bobby pins, just take some hairspray and smooth them over with your hands. I'm gonna give one more spray of hairspray and then that is it, you guys. We are done with hairstyle number two. Moving on to hairstyle number three, we're just gonna go through and straighten our hair and make sure there are no creases in it. Now that my hair is completely straight, I'm gonna take my two fingers and starting right at the ear, I'm gonna make a part going all the way up to the middle of my head. Now, once I've done this, I'm just gonna flip my hair over and we're gonna focus on that piece of hair that's right behind that section. Using that same teasing comb, we're gonna go ahead and tease that section of hair. Now I'm going for a more dramatic look, so I'm also taking that section in front of that and teasing that as well. Once I'm done doing that section, I like to take my hand and kind of pat the hair forward and let it dry a little bit because I find that it really helps that poof be a little bit more dramatic. Once that's dry, just flip your hair over and we're done. We're good, hairstyle complete. <laughs> No, I'm totally kidding. So we're gonna pick up that hairbrush and just kind of brush through and make it look a little bit more tame. And then you can use whatever kind of hairband you want. That's kind of the fun of it. You can make it your own. But I'm just gonna position this exactly how I want it and kind of putting a little bit of force on it because I don't want any of that hair in the front to stick out or anything. And then this next part is kind of hard to explain, but basically you're just pinching those two pieces of hair behind your head and giving it a little spray because that's really gonna make sure that your hair doesn't go flat as we do our next section of hair. Now using this soft hold putty from Nick Chavez, this is the fun part, at least for me anyways. So I'm taking a spoolie, I'm gonna put some of that product on the spoolie, and then I'm just gonna go in and style my baby hairs. I just find this so much fun. I love the way that it looks, I feel like it's very unique. Basically what I'm doing is pulling down my little baby hairs with the spoolie, and almost like pushing it forward, and then I hold it with my finger, and then I slick it back. You can just do it twice if you like the way that looks, but I'm gonna go in and do it two more times to the baby hairs that are around my ears. Mm -hmm. 
Now that that's done, I'm just gonna break up that little pinch that I did in the back of my hair and adjust it to exactly how I want it to look. Then I'm just gonna grab some more hairspray and give it another spray, cause why not? <laughs> and there you have it. That is hairstyle number three. Moving on to hairstyle number four, I'm gonna start off with this Dove dry shampoo. You guys, this is my favorite product ever. It's so amazing. I'm just gonna spray it throughout my hair. This is really going to add volume. And right here, I'm showing you just exactly how much volume it gives. I mean, it's crazy, but anyway. Next, I'm just gonna section this top half of my hair off, clip it away. I'm gonna grab my one inch curling iron and starting from the middle, I'm gonna start off by curling the hair away from my face. and then then I'm gonna alternate. So the next piece I'll do toward my face, the next piece I'll do away from my face. This really allows more texture in your hair and it makes the curls a little bit more messy and not so like put together. I really like the way that the curls turn out when I do this method. Now I'm just gonna take the end of my teasing comb and create a dramatic side part. So I'm gonna go quite far over to create this part. Once my hair is completely curled, I'm then gonna go in with my fingers and just kind of like mess it up a little bit, comb through the curls, and this is gonna give me a little bit more volume. Now I'm gonna take that same soft hold putty, put a little bit on my fingers, and sleek that one side all the way down. Once you have that side looking really polished, then I'm gonna go in with one of these hair pins and just pin that hair back really, really tightly. Then to create even more volume on this one side, I'm gonna kind of lift up on my hair as I spray it and then hold it in place for it to dry. And there you go guys, this is hairstyle number four. Pretty simple, but it looks so good. Moving on to our last look. This is probably the easiest, but it's definitely my most favorite hairstyle in this whole video. So first you're gonna use some mousse. Now I'm just using this one by Suave because we are going to use a lot of mousse for this look. So I went for the cheapest that I could possibly find. Just massage that mousse in your hand for a little bit and then go at it. Just put it in your hair all around. I went in for even more mousse and I probably do that another two or three times. You really wanna make sure you're getting all of your hair when you do this because you want it to look like you basically just got out of the shower. Once you feel like you have enough product in your hair and you like the way that it looks, you are all done. I mean, it's that simple, you guys. A very simple hairstyle, yet I think it's just like edgy, dramatic looking. Ugh, I just love it. All right, guys. Well, that is my five hairstyles for short-haired people. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so that I know that you guys like this kind of content and I can create more of it. As always, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and you will see me in my next video. Bye.